Section 1.2, Defining Limits and Using Limit Notation. The big idea of this unit is this right here, is the limit. The limit of a function as x approaches c. Now, we've always been talking about before this is we found like f of a number. And let's say I want to find it's f of 1, f of 2, let's find f of c. What does that equal? Well, what we do is we simply plug c into every value in f, and you get a graph. What, but what if c, when you plug in c, it goes undefined, or something is weird about it, you want to know something about it. So what the f limit does is it lets you kind of find out what are we approaching from both sides. So let me explain that. If I want the limit of the function f of x of c from the negative side, and you also function f of x of c from the positive side, shouldn't they be equal? Shouldn't you be coming from the left side of a function? Shouldn't you be coming here? And from the right side of a function, shouldn't you be coming here? Shouldn't they be coming to the same point? Now, that point would be f of c. But the limit for this piece is saying, what are you approaching from the left side? This is saying, what are you approaching from the right side? And the limit itself is that. What is that value that you're approaching from both sides? And they should be equal. And that would give you f of c, the value there. Now, f of c is different than the limit of f of x as x approaches c. These are different, but that's what we're going to talk about, the difference between those two ideas, but how they're very similar. And that is the building block of all of calculus, this limit idea. Instead of f of c, we're doing this. What are we approaching from the left and from the right, what is that value? So let's look at this. Let f be a function that is defined for all real numbers, x. All right, interpret the meaning of this, which is the same as this. It's just what do we do with c is now 2. What we normally would be saying here is we're asking, oh, what's f of 2? Okay, so plug 2 in the function, plug it out, what do you get? But what if that was undefined? What if there's something weird happening there? And that's what's the beauty of the limit. The limit lets us see what are we getting from both sides. So, again, if we look at a graph, say there's a graph like this, oh, da, 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 all right, and say this was f of 2, all right? This would be here, you have your axes, and that here is 2. Okay, that would be f of 2. Right here is f of 2, is how high that value came out. Um, the output of it. Now, what the limit is saying is as the graph comes this way and as the graph comes that way, what are you approaching? What are you approaching from this side is saying this. That is saying exactly the limit of f of x, all right, as x approaches from the 2, from the negative side, and this one right is saying here the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the positive side. And that is what we're doing. We are coming from the negative side and the positive side and finding what would be the value. And this right here is this, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. Now, in this particular situation, f of 2, these are the same. Those are the same. But what would happen if I made a graph, say, like this. I have one here, goes to a point, and then I go boom, and this one goes like that, and say this is at 2. Well, f of 2 is right there. That's f of 2. All right, but what are we approaching from both sides? What are we getting from this side? What are we approaching from here? And what are we approaching from here? Well, the limit over here of f of x from x approaching 2 from the negative side, and you have the limit over here of f of x as x approaches um, 2 from the positive side, do you notice they're not approaching the same thing? They are not equal. This one's approaching here, this one's approaching here, so the limit of this would be, what would be the answer to that? The limit for this one of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to does a question mark. What is that? It doesn't make any sense. We call it does not exist, but something goes weird. But here, these two are equal. All right, again, let's go right here. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 equals f of 2 here. 
So for this one, they're equal, but for this one, they're not. And so that's what we use limits for. It's like, what happens when, what are we approaching from both sides? How are we doing this? And we talk about what are we approaching? And we actually also talk about just individual. Sometimes we just want to know what is it approaching from the left? Sometimes we want to know what is it approaching from the right? And again, the negative means from the negative side. See, negative side, positive side. That's where the negative positive comes from. And that's the beauty of the limit. The limit lets us find out when maybe what is f of 2 doesn't make any sense. We want to know what we're approaching from both sides.